seem to have a little bit of your swagger back. Getting it, little by little. Let's see, so Wednesday will be eight weeks from surgery, and uh, I'm starting to feel pretty good. You know? Originally, the good Doc Belzer was, uh, his prognosis was... Ultimately speaking, after about six weeks late, you start doing the arm actively, and then after about 10 weeks, a little bit of weight training, four months before I really let you liberalize that weight training again. I think we're gonna be a good two months ahead of schedule, so what's not to like about that? Yeah. This is like, this is like my class back so far. I'm not feeling great just yet, but hey, I'm only nine weeks, nine weeks, ten, it's ten, ten weeks, ten weeks today from surgery. Well, I think the doctors are conservative, you know, and so are the physical therapists, so they gave me a six months back to where I was before the injury. How long have you been doing those bicep curls on the TRX? How long? How long? Maybe started about a week ago. The week goes out is it'll be about four months um, before I'm back to where I was, and I'm going to use those second, those those remaining two months to get myself to you know a whole new level and uh, make sure that this doesn't happen on any of my other appendages. My experience told me that you know number one, you got to stay positive and you know, you gotta get back up and get those feet moving in, in the right direction. And know that with the right support from doctors, PTs, teammates, colleagues, um, and in my case, the TRX, know that you're gonna start seeing the results pretty quickly that are gonna help put some wind back in your sails and, and that your, uh, your recovery will, you know, increase at an increasing speed. I primarily focused on range of motion. When I did add resistance, started to add resistance, I started with you know, resistance bands and rubber sheeting, and then almost immediately started integrating the TRX because it has that you know, really interesting characteristic in which you can go at almost no resistance. For instance, by supporting uh, you know, my weight with my legs, I can load my arm just a very little amount on a row or a fly or a curl. Almost from, I'd say, you know, within a month of surgery, I was beginning to do resistance training with the TRX. So uh, I'm Chris Chorak, physical therapist and owner of Presidio Sport and Medicine. Uh, the clinic was started about 12 years ago, and I've been a physical therapist in San Francisco for over 20 years. My name is Erica Moody. I am a physical therapist here at Presidio Sport and Medicine, where I have been working for 11 and a half years. My name is Jennifer Tu, and I'm a physical therapy aide and a transitional trainer. There's the apprehensive, scared, like, oh my God, I'm never going to be better. I'm never going to be able to do what I did before type of group. The other group, which I'll say Randy falls into going, I'm going to be bionic after this. I'm going to be able to do a lot more things. This is perfect for me to tell you what my goals are, what I want to get back to after this. When Randy came in as a patient, he talked about some of the rehab potentials uses for the TRX. And for me, I had used it for the most part with people at the end of their rehab and probably more of like an athletic population. I believe once the physical therapists get more education and knowledge on how to use it, that it'd definitely be used. I do sometimes rank my patients in terms of how well they do in a normal spectrum of recovery, and I would put Randy at the top of that spectrum. It is not typical to finish uh, in the same time that Randy did, so it's he's my first, in my experience, he's my first um, biceps tendon repair to ever um, recover quickly. Around six months. Oh, okay. So it mm -hmm. hasn't been one season. No, so. not 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 as close as Randy. No. I believe the shortest rehab for bicep tendon repair and recovery from that is has been with Randy. We were really able to use it early on. I had thought it would be more of the end stages of his rehab, but we used it for passive range of motion and active assisted range of motion and stretches where I would normally use different pieces of equipment in here that are more traditional to physical therapy. Um, then we were able to progress them into some light strengthening and then even heavier strength work with it. And it wasn't only a piece of equipment that he had access to when he came into physical therapy, it was obviously something he had access to at home and at work. I believe that the TRX 
suspension system would be something that would be a mistake not to have in a clinic. You always want to know what other people are using and be able to um, reproduce it in the clinic and actually the results on the rehab side have been so successful it's kind of a no-brainer. I always ask people what their goals are at the very very first initial evaluation when they're like at their weakest and most vulnerable and I was very impressed with the high caliber goals that uh, Randy had set for himself and you know a lot of these goals were based on TRX but a lot of them weren't and so I think always having those goals and being able to refer to those to help people get motivated with it so he himself as an individual was extremely fun, made us all look really good as far as therapists because he uh, achieved his goals early. But I do think that the TRX is a nice addition to you know, round out our circuit of services. I definitely look at the rehabilitative piece of our business differently because I saw how powerful this tool and the programs that, that we are working on now and will we'll be creating for every kind of different uh, injury as we go forward, I saw the power of the accessibility of the TRX. You know, having it wherever you need it, whenever you need it, and for range of motion, mobilizing, strengthening, you know, developing power, the full range, it was, it was fantastic. My recovery experience as a whole was an extraordinarily positive thing, and if it had to happen to anybody uh, in the company, I'm glad it happened to me. And I say that not because it was a lot of fun, but because as the leader of the company, it gave me personal insight into the challenges that people face when they're injured. And then more broadly, it gave the company a unique bird's eye view of, of the entire rehabilitative process from injury through surgery through the earliest phases of, of just regaining motion and then all the way through as, as I've kind of re-entered our classes here at the training center and uh, you know jumped back in on some of our athlete programming efforts and, and it's really been a positive thing. It's also given us unique insights into the value that we can bring to that to that space and so you know, our program designers and our and our advisory board are very excited to you know to take some of this opportunity and turn it into something great to help other folks that uh, that are out there and and need uh, you know need support. So you know, for me, you know, it wasn't a bad use of four months. I think that's great. Did you have anything else you wanted?